so we are going to make a planter box with wood so let's go to the stuff we'll show what all stuff we're using mm -hmm. so we got six foot long uh, cedar planks for the uh, exterior and the bottom we have so we got 13 of them yeah right? okay uh, because it fits our dimensions and we have these long thick uh, planks for the legs of the thing and we have some extra just in case we need okay. some more yeah. and we also have these casters steel casters uh to make it portable and we got uh, coated um screws yeah, screws yeah screws two inch long um and we have this uh what, what's it called the moisture barricade yeah it does like protect the interior of it so yeah so we we'll put that, that plastic up. sheet inside the planter box to keep the wood safe from the water and here and we're gonna use this one for the exterior okay so let's go let's start it right Uni? sure okay Isaac started the work already Okay, so now we're going to cut the legs. Isaac is measuring and he's gonna mark. We need we need eight legs of 30 inches. So we're doing the last one. We cut this much and there is one more. Hi Rosie. You see our Rosie the pigeon there? Rosie. Here's the last piece. So we're cutting the last piece, okay? Okay, so we're ready to assemble now. Right, Isaac? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it.
along with the two inch nails we also got some three inch ones for some of the longer tasks I guess Well, now they're having fun. <laughs> so let's uh, paint the uh, box now. I'm going to use this one, the pair of premium waterproofing wood finish. Okay, let's start. I'm doing the bottom first. I think it's much more um, easier. Also, like, see, I'm not using the spray paint. I think this is like this one. Use the brush and no spray paint is. I don't like it. So anyway, this is the bottom part. So we have finished uh, coating the exterior with the uh, weatherproofing as you can see here and now our next step is to uh, cover the inside with this moisture barricade to prevent any leaks that could uh, happen.